Praise the Lord. Welcome to the sessions of seven prophetic blessings of the day from Kadosh Marian Ministries. According to Ephesians chapter 1 verses 21, for above all rule and authority, power and dominion, and every name that is invoked, not only in the present age, but also in the one to come. This is the word of the Lord. Today's theme is to keep Jesus as the center of your life. and to see the divine blessings as he is the head of all rules and authorities making jesus the center of your life comes with lots of benefits we live in world where everyone is in pursuit of one dream or another take a minute and do a self examination what is it that you cannot do without what is the center of your own life what is the foundation holding every other part of your life together according to the holy scripture Your foundation should be strong enough to hold the house in difficult condition. If it is not strong enough, the house will be carried away when there is a storm. Therefore, it is extremely important that we build on a strong foundation. That strong foundation is our Lord Jesus Christ. Keep reading to see the benefits that come along with making Jesus the center of your life today. And let us see if the blessings are the benefit for making Jesus as the center of or the head of our life. Number 1. Fulfillment of God's will in your life. According to the word of the Lord, God chose us even much before we were born in our mother's womb. We did not come to this world by a coincidence. God created you and me for a purpose. He already has a plan and a future for you. even before you were born however you still have to freedom to choose freedom to walk in his ways or not choose him and his ways and you will accomplish all he planned for you the psalmist says if you are a good man light will shine for you even when you are in darkness secondly the book of proverbs is saying that it does not matter what plans we are making If God does not approve of it, it will be a total waste of effort and you will be end up failing. From the scripture we also read these verses that we should stay with the Almighty because he will not disappoint us, rather he will prosper us. You just have to stay with the Lord in order to receive his plan and receive his blessings in your life. He has a will, he has a plan. and that plan is to bless you number 2 rest it is highly important that you rest after work however you need to rest in the lord we tend to worry a lot when things do not go our own way just make jesus the center or the head of your life and learn to hand it over to him all our troubles talk to him calmly in your heart and picture him beside you as you are hand over all your difficulties you will be surprised that anxiety which is one of the causes of high blood pressure will not get to you according to our lord he is the only one that can give us rest in your difficult moment just say this jesus you take over i can assure you that god will take over that problem solve it and give you peace that comes from resting in his word number 3 protection in difficulties the scripture says in the book of isaiah that god promised to protect us from any form of difficulty that comes our way similarly the gospel of mark is also promising to us that the wind died down when jesus entered the port before then the apostles did not know they will whether they will survive or not however when jesus came into the port all the troubles and difficulties gone away from them you need to make jesus to enter into your life or your port or your home allow him to come into your life give a space to him so that he will enter into you he is waiting outside your door he is knocking the door if you open the door he will have dinner with you today Just give him a chance. May the Lord protect and bless you then. And may you have a great divine encounter with you. He is waiting for that. He will protect you. He is the protector. 
Number 4 joy If you make Jesus the center of your life you will have genuine joy even in adverse moment This is priceless it is very difficult for someone to be joyful at all the time However when you are in union with Christ he will give you peace This in turn puts you in a joyful mood When you are joyful you tend to spread happiness to people around you without realizing you have already made someone happy make him the center of your life and you will confirm the words of the prophet nehemiah that you will be strengthened by the joy that comes from the spirit of our lord jesus christ number 5 when jesus become the center of your life or head of your life you will crucify your selfishness you will crucify your i form as soon as jesus enter into your life your veil will be removed once jesus become the center or the head of your life you will able to love the unlovely you will be able to forgive others you will be enjoy at all circumstances you will able to praise and worship the father at every circumstances you will show grace not a critical spirits and once jesus enter into your life you will be willing to go down even to the till to the earth and once jesus is enter into you you will keep cool in every circumstances once jesus is enter into your life he will teach you and he will explain and interpret the mysterious things in the word of the lord once he enter into your life you will be a new creation you will be a holy generation once he enter into your life you never be worried you never be hurry in your life because everything will add into your life once jesus enter into your life you will be enveloped with the glory of god hallelujah it is the will of the lord to keep jesus as number one in our life then everything will add into our life because he wanted to bless you so we are blessing you in the name of lord jesus christ May God give you a long life in this earth. May you be able to seek his kingdom and his will first. May God reside in you and lead you in every circumstance successfully. May God protect you in all your ways. May you be able to discern the voice of God and to obey his voice. May you be able to rejoice in all circumstances. May God bless you and your family and your job. We seal all these blessings in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I'm Thomas George from Kadosh Marian Ministries. Thank you.